So Antonio Brown showed up to Raiders practice yesterday for the second straight day. A.B. reportedly was wearing a new league-approved helmet during the close portion of practice, but did not have one during the media portion of practice. His second grievance hearing against the NFL uh, to continue to wear his old helmet is scheduled for Friday. Hard Knocks cameras caught John Gruden having a heart-to-heart -heart with Brown after the team's walkthrough this past Saturday. Take a listen. I know you got a lot of people in your ear because you're like a corporation that's kind of gone global. Yeah. But at the end of the day, let's keep the let's, let's keep the simple. Yep. You know what I mean? Football comes first. Absolutely. Everything else is way behind us. Right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Let's just, because you, uh, you, that, you, you handle all that seamlessly. Beautiful. <laughs> huh? Seamlessly. I like that one. So, Skip, mm. what is your biggest mm. takeaway from last night's episode of Hard Knocks? I'm going to go small picture before I go big picture. Okay. I'm going to focus on what we just saw because okay. it caught my eye. <laughs> this was John Gruden trying to pull A.B. aside as they left that practice, the walk-through practice yeah. field, trying to play big brother, sort of father figure, mm -hmm. and say, hey, quit listening to your agent, quit listening to family and friends, just listen to me because all that matters right now is what I say because I want you to put me first, as in football first, right. and simplify the global corporation that you have become, because right now it's about football. Yes. And for the most part last night during Hard Knocks, which is obviously taped before yesterday, mm -hmm. right. we saw more good cop from John when it came to AB. He was trying to soft sell all of it. I, I, it's not a big deal. What's the big deal? It's not a big story. We knew about the cryotherapy, going way back to the mini camps and blah, blah, blah. Like he, he said, we got this all under control. And then it ended with that exchange, which told me he's pretty troubled by this, but he's still, he's clean to Antonio. He needs Antonio right. desperately. And he loves one thing about Antonio. He says, 84 will lead this league in energy. Hmm. I'll buy that. Because yeah. when, when AB commits to being out there right. with the proper helmet on, and by the way, it was also significant, Antonio indicated on the field before the Arizona game, it, it's not about how the helmet, the new helmet feels, it's the way it looks. It looks. It's because it's an ugly blah, 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 you know. He, I guess yeah. he thinks it makes it look like Marvin the Martian. That was you know, right. Marvin that does. People. Yeah, no, that's a good one. I'm sure that's, that's about how he pictures it in his head. Yeah. Okay, so it's not about the actual feel of it or right. it's too no. bulky or whatever. Right. It's just the look. Well, Gruden will not love that. So, big picture. Predictably, this hard knocks has turned into the JGAB show. Mm -hmm. John Gruden, then AB, in that order. John Gruden is proving to me to have an even bigger ego than his new superstar has. Mm -hmm. John Gruden, to me... But you knew that! I, I didn't know it'd be quite this big. I think TV helped make it bigger, the yeah. Monday night stage, yes. obviously. Yes. Because remember, I covered John's yes. last team in Oakland the first time around. I covered the 2001 Oakland Raiders. Mm -hmm. So I mean, he's under a lot of pressure oh, yeah. to try to live up to 10 million a year for 10 years. I was wondering years. about that. He's gained I way more. that too. Because yeah. he didn't carry that much weight the first sure. time around as a no. coach. He, no. he wasn't like that. So I, whatever. But the, the point is that in the biggest picture, he wants to be the star of the Oakland Raiders. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want 84 to be the star. 84 should listen to what John says. And to me, that's collision course for a, an epic clash. Yep. That is the essence of why I don't think this will work long term because I'm not sure. You know, I've been a Gruden fan before because uh -huh. I like him personally. <laughs> But, but will this work in this day and age when players become so big via social media? Their brands have grown to, to, to regions that we've never seen before. Yeah. And the coaches' brands don't grow in this no, day and age, no. right? No, no. Look, as great as Bill Belichick is, Bill Belichick is not known in Europe and overseas and no. Asia and all that stuff. No. Like Odell. No. Like these, like these players are. Yes, and, exactly. And most players don't, they don't try to dominate social media. Do any, I know Wade Phillips is on it. Who yeah. else? Anybody That's else do it? it? There's nobody who's on, no coach is on social media. Right. But, but John Gruden is dominating hard knocks mm -hmm. because that's who he has become. So can A.B. 
fit his ego underneath the, the Gruden umbrella <laughs> ego? I, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Skip. I think this is a, a collision course. I think they're bound to collide, intersect at some point, and it's not going to be pretty. You know, the <clears throat> Gruden should have said, team football first, because okay. A.B. could yeah. say, I am putting football first. It's just A.B.'s football okay. that I'm putting first. That's true. Skip, I, yeah. this is how A.B. gets them. You heard it, Skip? Be like, Coach, I, I appreciate you standing by me, Coach, because <laughs> everybody coming for me. Ain't nobody coming for you. You act there acting like a fool. First of all, you went to the crowd. He said he was enemy of the state. I feel like enemy of, no. N nobody's, no. Well, first of all, if you've never been in a crowd chamber, you, you, you probably should know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> you don't go in there barefooted. You put on socks, you put on the Ugg boots. Was and, it his first time? Like, how do you make that I, I don't know, but you don't get blitzed. That's the only way. Mm -hmm. And then skip the helmet. Now, I was told that it was always about aesthetics. It was never about the mm -hmm. comfort of the feel of the helmet. I was also told that one of these president, one of the company heads offered to come to Oakland as prearranged through the NFL mm -hmm. and do a 3D scan for AB and get his proper measurements fit. They're right. not going to send him to Dick's. They go get a helmet off the rack. Okay. They go say, we're going to give you the best of the best. He's like, no, nah, I don't want that. Wow. Because my helmet looks better. And I look better. And if I look good, I play good. That's why you always see him with his shoulder pads up so you can see the back booming. That is true. You can see booming. <laughs> so this is what Which this is, is about. Is what catchphrase yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> look, and so I think Gruden, first of all, I think this was heavily, heavily edited. Because, you know, the, <laughs> the language wasn't, but. <laughs> no, no. The team gets, because. They couldn't edit Mike's Mayock because mm. he said that publicly and it was already out there. So they had to put oh, that in there, Skip. Yeah. Skip, you know John Gruden. I know John Gruden. My brother played for John Gruden. Mm, he did. John Gruden is seething mm. because he said, man, we gave you all this money <laughs> and you up here shucking and jiving about a helmet when you already knew you had a year to prepare for this. Mm -hmm. Coaches get very upset, especially if you do something because I think he said this was his first time doing cryo and he was overseas. Coaches get upset like, well, why are you doing this now? If you've never done this before and you've had success, so why are you doing it now? And then you put yourself at risk. You put this team at risk. Skip, this is this is this is gonna be this is gonna be bad. Because mm -hmm. the same thing's gonna happen. Cause guess what? And people are like, well, because after two years they can get out of this for three hundred and thirty-five thousand mm -hmm. dollars after the twenty twenty season. Mm -hmm. Odell, the giant, took a sixteen million dollar dead cap hit. The Steelers took a $21 million dead cap hit. They did. What that tells me, mm. no matter how great you are, if you give them enough headache, they will move on from your butt. Mm -hmm. So I think A.B. will be $15 million. It's hard for me to believe that they wouldn't move on from $15 million if the Steelers were willing to move on from 21 and the Giants were willing to move on from 16. Mm. They're going to look to A.B. going to butt heads. Because it's, uh, it's always going to be something with him, Skip. He's going to find something else. No one came from... People were willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. But then this guy came out and you get an opportunity. I can tell you firsthand, all that, that, that was just for show. Gruden, John Gruden is mad as hell I agree. at this, as what's transpired mm -hmm. with A.B. Yeah. Now, oh, he can say this, so when you say heavily edited, you mean a lot's been cut, cut out? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because the team yeah. gets... They show it to the they team. No, and this cut oh, this out. You can, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah. if he had some off-camera, so to speak, rant, no, we don't want that in Yeah, exactly. Because oh. okay. I got I to gotta make A.B. think that I'm in his corner. Yeah. And always positive. Po but it, mm -hmm. Skip, at some point in time, guess what? These games going to matter. They go in the win-loss column, and it goes towards whether or not you're going to make the playoffs. Mm -hmm. We're going to see. Can't mm. edit losses, right? No, nah, no, nah, you can't edit those. Mm. So when last night's episode ended, my wife Ernestine turned to me and said, has Gruden always been that snotty? Huh. I like that word, snotty, because yeah. he, he does come across as just flat-out snotty. Yeah, he has. And I said, <laughs> that's a good question, yeah. because when I covered him, now it was a long time, 2001, what was that, 18 years ago, mm -hmm. I don't remember him being that snotty, Is as in dismissive, sarcastic, a hypercritical. But what happened? What happened in 02 that changed his life forever? He won one. <laughs> now, he did win one with Tony Dungy's guys. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. 
But he won it. He won it. Yeah. We can't take that away and from him. He did get to take advantage of his former team in the Super Bowl, yes. and they were calling out plays before they were run, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And Rich Gannon, his former quarterback, threw a whole bunch of balls to the box, right? <laughs> he did. And they got returned for touchdowns. Yes. And it was a complete and utter it was, wipeout. It was a demolition. Yes, it was. But he, Skip, he's all he's animated. But after winning the Super Bowl, he became even more animated. Yeah. He had a little jerk in him before. He did. But he became an even bigger one. Mm -hmm. That's why he felt he could talk to Keyshawn the way he did once he mm. won that Super Bowl. Mm. And at the, I'm not going to, you know, hey, I wish him all the best. But I can tell he and AB, they're going to butt heads at some point in time this mm. year. A collision course, hey, this is two meteors headed in the same direction. Yeah, they are. And they're not crossing. I'm they're with intersecting. You. I do not believe it will last, and I believe John Gruden will pay a price for letting his ego run completely amok. And I'm being objective when I say that because I still like him personally, but I'm being straight from the heart with you. I don't like where this is heading. And again, hard knocks can do a lot of damage to a football team because it can bring out what you're saying about what alcohol will do. Yeah. It's, it's oh, almost yeah. like a, the version of alcohol right. where it's going to bring out the worst, worst in you, right? <laughs> yes. And I think it's bringing out the worst. That, that's him right there, that picture. That's, that's what he's constantly doing. <laughs> right. He's constantly screaming, and it's, it's profanely where he's just all over somebody with F-bombs and this bomb. Well, he calm, bro, yeah. calm down. Yeah, come on. Mm. I mean, if you got to do all that, if, if, if a head coach must do all of that screaming, he needs to hire better assistant coaches because they're not getting his message to the players. There's no way a coach should be doing all that screaming stuff. Mm. I'm sorry. For professionals, I can see if it's Lily, you try to get the guy that they, they can't like. Mm -hmm. Come on now. You're at the highest of the high. What are they talking about? Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Absolutely. Well, that's what it, he's got absolute power now. Yeah. And he might have much power as Mark Davis. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> Maybe more. Well, he's got the final say. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is interesting. Ooh. I love it. I just wish we'd have more episodes and more Ooh. insight. I, love I told you I it. wish we could just keep on the, each week. The whole yeah. season. But we need it unedited. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You want that unedited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know who else I'd like to see a hard knocks on? The yeah. Cowboys, because yeah. they've got so much drama going no, on. Nah, Jay ain't gonna try to steal the show. We gotta talk.